Shortages at grocery stores have grown in recent weeks as new problems like the Omicron variant and severe weather have compounded the supply chain struggles. Take a look at all these empty shelves, just nothing. Looking for chicken, soda, even potato chips can be really tough right now. You see that? Sorry for the inconvenience. NBC 10's Deanna Durante is live in Bluebell for us today, where shoppers say they are visiting multiple stores just to get the basics. What a challenge, Deanna. And it's become like an online scavenger hunt. People have been, begun to post pictures of the empty shelves or letting you know which stores have what you may be looking for. A challenge that many supermarket chains say that they hope will be fixed if the workers come back. Is this your first groceries trip or your second today? It's my second. They didn't have everything I needed. Are we seeing deja vu of early 2020 when the shelves were empty? Little bit, yeah. It's not hard to find. Grocery aisles that have shoppers doing double takes are asking, where's the stuff? Three different supermarkets, none of them had chicken breast. Not just chicken breast, they also didn't have broccoli. From Summers Point to Center City, Delaware and the Burbs, busy moms like Tabia Ashkar say there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done. Now she spent three hours searching Sunday and still no chicken. What do you do? Like if when you go to one store and they don't have it and then you're going to multiple other ones and they don't have it either, uh, what do you do? And she's not the only one asking, where's the chicken? On social media, many are taking notice too, showing off pictures of empty shelves and posting store locations of what they're out of or what they have in stock. It's not a product shortage. What we have a shortage of is labor. McCaffrey's markets allowed us in to show you what other stores didn't want us to see those shelves. He says the issues facing grocery chains are global, starting with label shortages when the food is harvested. Normally, from, from the time a grape is loaded to the time it makes it to the Philadelphia port is about two weeks. Well, it's taken much longer now. So, so not only does that create a shortage problem, but finally when that product does make it, it's been sitting on those containers longer than they anticipate it, which takes the quality out of it. He says those larger chains have bigger challenges in getting products in the stores from the labor at the farms to the stockers inside. But this family-run chain has retained employees and works with local distributors. A plus, he says, in keeping the shelves full here. And this company has survived on some of the smaller vendors. From farm to stockroom, he says the pandemic created a workforce shortage, and he's not sure if those people will ever return. And the grocery stores also tell us that many people have left to uh, take other jobs where they can work from home or even do those jobs where you're working from your phone. Now, if you think that you're paying more at the grocery store, well, here at the market, they tell us you probably are because many of the distributors, the transportation costs have gotten so high that then they have to pass that on to the little guy that's selling you all those things that you may or may not be able to find right now. Reporting live in Bluebell, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.